Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group 7 in section 2 from analog electronics course DEKE 1213. Now we want to present about Armstrong oscillator. Before we proceed, I want to introduce our four member of group. First, I'm Muhammad Amirul Izadi bin Azizan. Second, Muhammad Hafizul Hadi bin Haidi. And third, Nick Alif Haika bin Nick Nur Ain Nudin. And the last, Muhammad Azrul Shafiq bin Zami. And is our beloved lecturer, Dr. Nur Haslinda binti Hasim and Dr. Nuliana binti Baharin. Now we want to move to introduction. Okay. In our introduction, we, I work, uh, I'm, I will talk about the Amazon oscillator and uh, the basic. Uh, the Amazon oscillator is used to produce a sine wave output of constant amplitude and fairly constant frequency. It is the earliest oscillator circuit, and it was invented by. U.S. engineer Sir Edwin Armstrong in 1912 and independently by Austrian engineer Alexander Messner in 1913 and it was used is the in the first vacuum tube radio transmitter. The circuit generally used as a local oscillator in receiver as a signal cause yeah, the oscillator in receivers as a signal source in signal generators and the second as a variable frequency oscillator over the medium and high frequency range oscillator converts the DC signal to AC signal in the amongst oscillator there are many types of oscillator out of that the LC oscillator works on the principle of positive feedback. The Armstrong oscillator is an electronic oscillator uh, the electronic oscillator circuit which use an inductor and capacitor to generate an oscillation. It is sometimes called a tickler oscillator because it is distinguishing feature is that the feedback signal needed to produce oscillations is magnetically coupled into the tank coupled into the tank inductor uh, magnetically coupled into the into the tank inductor in the input circuit by a tickler coil in the output circuit Armstrong oscillator is a basic feedback LC circuit in a proper circuit uh, we are introducing the tank circuit between the base and ground the tune circuit is actually made of an inductor and a capacitor in parallel. In the proper circuit, uh, the, tra the transformer and capacitor is used. Here is the basic. Uh, I want to uh, to share the the basic process for this oscillation. The transistor, uh, the transistor starts is operating when the power is supplied the base of the transistor. The collector's current which flows through the secondary coil of the transformer indices a voltage in the primary coil of the transformer. Uh, okay, uh, later it will present by another our member. Next, I want to pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Mama Abizah Hadi bin Hadi. So today I want to discuss about uh, Armstrong oscillator board diagram. So how to recognize uh, recognize the Armstrong Armstrong oscillator board diagram. So first, it is used an LC tune circuit to establish the frequency of oscillation. So the feedback is accomplished by mutual inductive coupling between the tickler coil and the LC uh, tune circuit. Its frequency is fairly stable and the output amplitude is relatively constant so next, 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sina Alif Haika bin Anwar Indri. I will present about operation of the circuit in strong oscillator. This is a picture example of the circuit. When the circuit is turned off, turn on, the collector current begin to increase, which is generated in some magnetic field around coil L1. The feedback voltage produces an increase in the transmitter base voltage and the base current, and the further increase in the collector current is achieved, and the circle continue until the collector current becomes saturated. When the capacitor is fully charged, it begins to flow through L, which is this is produce the emitter bias. Therefore, the IB current and the collector current also decrease. When the collector current reach the cut off, cut off, capacitor C is fully charged with opposite poles. When the transistor is turned off, the condenser C begin to flow through L which will cause and decrease the bias of the emitter resulting in an increase in the collector current. Last, this, the circle is repeat as long as sufficient energy is supplied to overcome the loss in the LC circuit. So that's all from me. I pass for the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Azrul Shafiq. Now I will uh, presenting important formula for Armstrong oscillator. The oscillation should be taken place at one particular frequency. The oscillation frequency f is determined by the tank circuit LNC and is approximately given by F equal 1 per 2 pi square root LC. The amplitude of the oscillation should be constant. That's all from me. Thank you. Next. So, the application of a strong oscillator. First, it is used to generate the sinusoidal uh, output signal with a medium and very high frequency. So second, it is generally used as a local oscillator in receivers. Uh, it is uh, used in the radio and mobile communications. Uh, and, and the fourth, used as a source in signal generation and as a radio frequency oscillator in the medium and high frequency range. So the circuit was widely used in the regenerative radio receiver. So popular in until the 1940s. In the application, the input radio frequency signal uh, from the antenna is magnetically uh, coupled into the tank circuit by an additional winding and the feedback is reduced with an adjustable gain control in the feedback loop. So the circuit is just uh, short of oscillation. The result is, uh, an, the result is a narrow band radio uh, frequency filter and amplifier. So the non-linear characteristic of the transistor or, uh, or tube also demodulated the RF signal to produce the audio signal. Uh, Armstrong oscillator is a vac uh, first vacuum tube radio transmit transmitter. So that's all. Thank you.